everybody's chasing making a viral video. You guys have managed to do it. What's the secret to your success? What's great about our videos is he's an expert at what he does and people always love watching experts. So 40 plus years doing his craft and then me growing up making stupid videos with my friends, editing, working with my brothers who made videos. And then I can sort of use my knowledge of what's relevant and current and apply it to his cooking and then mash it together for a quick short video and people just love short content like that. You know what the gritty is then? Well, don't ask me stupid questions, son. Uh, I get bread. I'll put the dough in here. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of squid ink. How amazing nature is. I actually have ink like this. Beautiful. <clears throat> ink color. Whoa. I trying to, I always trying to see what in his mind. And because I'm 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 old school and he's the young school. So I want to combine that. What do you mean? Like, tell me exactly. He said, no, I can't tell you. Just do this. So take us behind the scenes. So, you know, this whole series of videos where you take fast food and you turn it gourmet. Yeah. And the first one was the Chick-fil-A fried chicken sandwich. What, what was your creative vision with that? Well, it started off no creative vision, really. Now they're a lot more thought out and planned because people love them so much. But I literally just thought of it one day and we filmed it for YouTube. Chick-fil-A. So these are the nuggets. These are all the sauces. There's buffalo, sweet and spicy sriracha, honey mustard, Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I was seeing a professional chef's take on it and what he can transform it to is definitely something where, oh, I know what that is, but what, this is crazy. What is he gonna turn it into? And what about when you had that fried chicken fast food sandwich handed over to you? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Did you think, what the heck is going on here? And then this is their classic chicken spicy sandwich. Everything is fried to death, number one. When it's so dead, it's hard to bring it back to life. Let me see what I have in here. Chicken will go down. Nice poach already, sauce reduced. Chicken on the plate. Chicken on the plate. And I finish with just a little bit of this so sriracha chili. The sauce, huh? Yeah. The sauce. Mmm. My sauce makes their sauces taste much better. A little herbs. A Provençal. First bite. Mmm. Mm. And clean the plate. Wow. You know, that's a good sign of like, good cooking. Okay, you have to give me a hand to clean up, son. All right, thanks, Dad. Bye. No, not even a hand, <laughs> I'm going, in my mind, it's not about blowing people's fans' mind. I want to blow your mind, my son. <laughs> I want to see it, what you think about me, what I can do with my food. Mm -hmm. So that is the, uh, really the starting point. I get nervous when, you know, when we are plating the dish, when, we are making, when I'm making the dish, when I'm plating, and he would say, question me, that, does it look good? That makes me so nervous. <laughs> okay, I can cook with any competition show, any great chef in the world. When he said that, I was like, holy shit, I'm questioning myself. Maybe he's right. Maybe this is not good enough. I get depressed when he said, Dad, I don't think that is that great. It got a little burned, my day ruined. <laughs> and he doesn't know that. I get so depressed. I would call him up and say, Jet, can I refilm that? <laughs> no, no, Dad, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. That's a lot of pressure now that you know that. We can be tough on each other in the moment sometimes when, because when he actually makes stuff like this, I feel like on the Food Network, there's so much production behind it. Like they'll make a sauce two hours before the plate, it could be cold. But when he's making it, he's actually making it so it tastes good. Everything's the right temperature. Yes, sometimes. Sometimes things end up burnt when he's yeah. cooking another sauce and that's still in the oven. What do you get out of all of this? When, when these social media videos get so many views, like I, I don't know if it's like revenue or, or building your brand or just sat satisfaction, well, what do you get out of it? I don't think about, you know, the fame, that part is great. Yeah, the outcome is great. I still ask him. And he said, I said, hey, how's the viewing? Oh, it's all this, that amount. Is it good? Even though it's like quite a bit, I don't, I don't have no value of that. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that value is really based on our relationship. And, you know, to kind of, but one thing I really like about it is uh, really brings the education, you know, for families or younger generation about food.
so Jed, you want to open the tofu for me and put it over here. And I'm going to cut some peppers. Ingredients, very simple. I have some uh, colorful peppers and also ginger, some green onions and some cilantro. So I'm just going to uh, chop everything very fine. Super busy chef, long hours. Did you get much time to hang out with your sons when you were younger, kind of building your career? I uh, know. You know, I yeah, the other day I was just talking to my wife and I said, uh, Brenda, what, what did you feed the kids? <laughs> Brenda would tell me things like, oh my God, we used to like give them like Portuguese ham sandwich. I said, really? They eat hand sandwich for lunch? And Jet, what about for you? What, what was it like having a dad who obviously was in such a demanding business when you were a kid? Um, my mom is also a great cook as well. Yeah. So sometimes my brothers and I honestly prefer her cooking just because she'll make chicken fingers sometimes. My dad is always making like crazy stuff like this, boiled <laughs> steamed vegetables, steamed fish. But sometimes um, a kid just wants chicken fingers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It is amazing to me how you can do something that I think is relatively simple. Very, and right? And just make it look so beautiful. Well, this is going to be your lunch. <laughs> Are you a vegetarian? I was hoping you'd say that because I am starving. Oh, perfect, perfect. Um, and also a little bit, a little bit of spiciness is also nice too. Fantastic. Yeah, it's one of our favorite dish, um, especially my middle son. He loves it too. <laughs> Money shot. <laughs> okay. Nice. Beautiful. Jet, you know, making viral videos, it can end in a moment with some people who were super successful two years ago and then all of a sudden they disappear from TikTok. Do you feel that pressure at all? Yeah, I definitely feel a responsibility to build out something larger than just the videos, which we we're working on some things together. So yeah, there's some pressure with that because people's time sometimes are just like a hot flash in the pan. But I'm hoping with his, his skill in the kitchen, um, it's hard to replicate and people always love food. And hopefully I'll always stay in touch with what people like to watch and how they like to watch it. Hey Dad, hey son. can we turn this 99 cent noodle gourmet? All right, can we turn this football stadium food gourmet? Can we turn these plant-based like meat chicken wings gourmet? Hey Dad. I think you can turn this McDonald's gourmet. McDonald's? Of course I can, you know that. Jet, uh, with these videos, do you think you're making your dad relevant again? <laughs> 100%. <laughs> um, there's definitely a lot of younger kids that come up to him now and just call him TikTok chef. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they don't even know cool. that I actually have a restaurant. Yeah. Um, it's always, you're the TikTok chef now. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. Yeah, I, I don't really think of it in terms of like making him relevant again. I just, <laughs> we love making the, I love, I love what I do and he loves what he does. And then as a father and son, it just, it's so perfect. You're taking this all better than I thought you would. That question about being the TikTok chef, you don't mind the fact that there may be a whole generation that only knows you from your son's videos? Well, you know, um, you talk about like fame. How, what does that touch my ego? It does not touch anything at all because I feel that you know, I've done so many things in my life. My journey still love what I cook every night. When that plate is going out, it's the most important thing. Wow. So I don't feel that, oh my God, I think I look at, you know, how many viewers, how many. No, I don't give a damn about that. Well, Jet and this fellow, the TikTok chef, thanks to both <laughs> of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.